As you can see in the upper right hand corner, there's this blue outline of me with red lines. That is the vision from the Xbox Kinect camera and it's tracking all of my limbs. And based on the position and motion of my body, I'm gonna be able to control GTA 5 and fly this plane. So to start, we will assume the airplane position, which will allow us to accelerate forward. And I can rotate my body in order to turn and stay on course. And once we have enough speed, I just lean back to take off. And we are now in the air. Now, uh, it's not the most comfortable controller to use as I try to awkwardly twist my way through the air, uh, but it's a heck of a lot of fun to use. And I know some of you are thinking, I look completely ridiculous right now. My landing gear is down. Don't worry, fam. You just kick it and it goes right in. <laughs> uh, if Rockstar is watching this, they better be adding Connect to Support to GTA 6. And I'm just going to go ahead and assume that's why GTA 6 has taken this long to come out with, because they're trying to perfect the Kinect controls. Uh, so, pitch is controlled by leaning forward and backwards. Uh, yaw is controlled by turn... Ooh, even out. Yaw is controlled by turning left and right. And then you can roll by moving your arms, and if things go wrong, you just throw your hands up to jump out. Come on, and pull your chute. <laughs> oh, perfect landing. <laughs> this mod is pretty simple and straightforward if you wanna try it out yourself. All you need is an original Xbox 360 Connect. Uh, this mod unfortunately does not work with the newer one that came out for the Xbox One. You do need the original 360 version, and I'll link one down in the description below. Uh, my version was a refurbished unit that did not come with the AC and USB adapter. If you look at the end of the plug here, this is not a normal USB. It's got a little notch in the corner, so you do need uh, this separate adapter as well, which I can also link down in the description. In addition to this hardware, you'll need a free software program called Fast, which I'll now show you how to set up. The first thing you need to do is download the Fast software and the Connect SDK drivers. Both are linked in the description. Download the Fast zip file from GitHub. Then download and install the Connect SDK driver version 1.8. Fast is an older, unsupported program, so newer versions of the Connect driver will not work. Make sure to install version 1.8. Extract the zip file and launch fast.exe. Connect your Connect sensor via USB to your PC and make sure that the supplemental power adapter is plugged into an AC power outlet. Change your tracker type from OpenNI to Microsoft and click Connect. You should now see a live image from your Kinect camera. You'll need to get your full body into frame to enable body tracking. Now that everything is working, press the load button and select the included GTA airplane configuration. This file contains the controller settings I created in order to fly planes in Grand Theft Auto. Selecting the Gestures tab will show you all of the controls and key bindings. Finally, press the Start Emulator button to enable Kinect controls, and then switch back to your game. Congratulations, you are now experiencing the future of gaming with these 2010 error motion controls. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and check us out on our community Discord server. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for other games. I plan to continue taking these flight controls even further when the new Flight Simulator 2020 comes out later this month. Alright, that's going to do it for today's episode. As always, leave me a comment below with any controller ideas you'd like to see, and make sure to subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.